Hi guys, Anna Ray here. In this video, I will be going over the basics of text editing for Blade and Soul. And for this tutorial, I'll be, I will be making a couple assumptions. One, that you have the one-click tool. And two, you know how to use it. And three, that you have a hex editor installed that you can use. Why do we need hex editing? Well, the one-click tool is far from perfect. It's missing a lot of things, and it makes mistakes every once in a while. So you have to do things manually if something goes wrong or if the file's just not here. So I will be showing you how to do it by doing a couple examples and explaining it along the way. I will start out by turning a copper sword into the Valentine's Poppy Sword. So I already have the files for the Poppy Sword already saved aside, and I have the skeleton file and the material file. You can get both of those numbers from using U-Model or if you find them somewhere that works too. But, so I already have them and I also have the information for my copper sword to go off of. So what I like to do first is to rename my files to match the copper sword. So the skeleton should match the skeleton number, and the material number should match the material number. In each of these files, you mostly only need to change one thing. In the skeleton file, you only need to change the core number, which is like a bunch of numbers underscore auto scale. Also, this number right here, when you use it in the viewer. So, I have the skeleton pulled up, and I'm going to change the 10225 of my pocky sword to the 10104 of my copper sword. And that's good to go, so I save it, close out, and then I'd open my material. For this particular one, I don't need to do anything because the color number for this sword matches the color number for my copper sword, which the viewer is kind of broken right now for this, but it should be color 1, and I have color 1. If your target or like original weapon that's going to be replaced has a different color number, you will need to change this to match. So, I don't need to do anything, I'm just going to save, and this is good to go. I'll copy it over to my mod folder, and I'll explain another weapon-related thing that a lot of people ask for, which is invisible gauntlets for Kung Fu Masters. So it looks like you're punching the air with your fists. This one's actually pretty easy, it involves you pretty much bake, breaking the file. So if you ever see and if you're a hex editing and ever see an item invisible or like your body is just like completely gone or your hair is bald, it's usually a problem with the core number. In this case, we want that to happen, so we screw up the core number. Right here, I have the Hong Moon Gauntlet pulled up, so I'm breaking that one since I have it available. So that's all you need to do, change that number to some random crap that's different from the original number and you're good. If you're doing some other gauntlet, you'll need to do the same thing with that gauntlet. And when the core number's broken, the game will pick that up and then it'll default it to the blue Hong Moon gauntlet. So what you need to do is do it for the gauntlet you want invisible, and do it for the Hong Moon gauntlet as well, and have both of those broken files. So, that's good to go. We don't need to change the file name, because we're only doing it there. It's the same thing. Next, I'll do an accessory example. For this one, I will be changing Lycan's Sorrow to use blue Hello Kitty glasses and to have the file for that pulled up. Accessories are kind of weird sometimes 
and like weird in a good way. For example, a lot of the costumes come in sets. So we have the Golden Davis set, the Lycan set, the Scorpion set. All of those usually share a common material file between them. And if you're changing things, several things in that whole set, you could, you will break the other items in the set as well if you don't change them. But of course, you cannot have multiple material files. So, in this, you only need the skeleton, actually. So, you only change the skeleton and leave the material number alone. And I have the item over here. I'll change the core number like you're supposed to do with skeletons. 04, 00048, And then rename the file to match your other file. 15667. And that's basically it for the accessory. And next. I will do an outfit, because those are good things. This costume was not in the viewer, but I want it, so I'm going to get it. And I'm going to replace the Cerulean uniform. So, I have the texture, I mean, the material and the skeleton for it. The material, or the skeleton is for six. So we want to change this to match our cerulean, 04680, change the material to match the material, 4679, and then we go into the skeleton, we change the core number, one thing you should note about Lynn costumes is that, is that most of them are unisex. So a lot of the files will be Lynn mail defaultly. Sometimes you need to change it, sometimes you don't. For example, if I was doing the pink version of this, which is... Okay, here's the pink version. You notice how the object number, aka the core number, has Lynn female at the end, but Lynn male has M at the end? If we use this base file and want to replace it onto the Cerulean uniform, we would need to have it match exactly. So, this would need to be an F also. Or actually, no. This would be an F at first, we would need to change it to an M. But since I'm doing the blue one because I like it, I'm going to do the blue one. And that's it. That's it for the skeleton. And so, once again, I happen to pick one where the, col the color number is the same for both of them. It's color one here. It's color one here, so we're good to go in that too. I'll just copy these over. And hopefully it's all worked. Let's try it out. Wait a second for the game to load up. Oh look! I was wearing the Cerulean uniform and Lycan sorrow, and I have the glasses, and I have the outfit, and it looks so cute. And then let's look at my sword. Hey, it's a foggy stick. And let's see. Oh, I don't have any gauntlets on. So it all works. So, basically to recap, you need to change basically one thing in 
each of the files. In the skeleton file, you need to change the core number. In the material file, you need to change the color number. And usually that will do the trick. There are some items that are generally just broken in how they were made, and this technique will not work. I would suggest if you encounter one of those to just try something else, like try another item. Because, for instance, the Jiangxi face charm, there's no way around it. This really in elite uniform is also broken. I am not sure how you would go about fixing it, but so I suggest just ignoring it. Um, let's see. You, if you run into a lot of into some problems, there's various things you can look at depending on what it is. As I mentioned earlier, if your clothes or body or item in general are invisible, it's a problem with the core number. And then, if for some reason the texture is all screwed up, and like you're supposed to be wearing some nice outfit, and then it's just like a garbled mess. The skeleton looks, or like the structure of the outfit looks right, but it's just totally colored wrong. That would be a problem in the material file. And there's several things I could be with it. So the, core, the color number might be the problem, or you might have the wrong material number that you were named it to. Um, let's see. If you're like all yellow and purple, that's also probably a problem in the material file. And that's basically all it is. You do the same method for everything. Cat items, regular outfits, um, weapons, accessories. It's all the same. All pretty simple. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and easy to understand. I'll try to type it out in the description just to clarify. And so that's basically it. Happy modding. I hope this was helpful and good luck.